There's a famous story about a boy who finds and observes a caterpillar, which at some point creates a cocoon and goes inside it. The boy waits every day for a butterfly to emerge, but nothing happens. Doesn't he have anything else to do, like playing Pokemon or something? No. Anyway, that's like playing real life Pokemon. At some point, he noticed a butterfly coming out of the cocoon, but it was struggling. It couldn't break free. So what did the boy do? He went home, because why wouldn't you? He did, to get some scissors and help cut the butterfly loose. What happened was that when the butterfly came out, its wings were shriveled, so it couldn't fly. The boy later learned that the butterfly's struggle to get out of the cocoon pushes fluid out of its body into its wings, so that they can expand. And if that process doesn't happen, they just become useless. Thanks for the science lesson bro, so what's your point? Not to help butterflies coming out of cocoons? Trust me, I don't have time for that. The point is that struggle isn't a bad thing, it's a necessary thing. Or at least a necessary process to get to where we want to. One book that explains this really well is The Obstacle is the Way by Ryan Holiday. In his book, Ryan talks about how obstacles in our path give us opportunities to practice virtues such as patience, courage, humility, resourcefulness and creativity. Tackling problems and finding ways to solve them is how we improve our lives and become good at anything. Give me another example. Are you drinking my tea? Anyway, one example is when we started making videos. We were pretty bad at the start. At the time, he paid only $35 for that swoosh logo design. Well, why did we start making videos again? I mean, we're still pretty bad. That's not the point. We only got better at making videos because we started making videos. So it was only with the act of solving our problems that we found creative ways to solve them. Right. And it's not only about practice. Working on eliminating our impediments allowed us to develop skills like time management, communication skills and create better presentations. Along with that came diligence, better preparation and confidence. Yeah, that's true I guess. I mean, think about it, it's pretty cheap to get video out there. We've got access to the internet, we've got a camera in our pockets, but what was stopping us? Um, I want to say laziness, but maybe we just couldn't be bothered? Yeah that too, but we were also stuck with fear of what others would think. We kept delaying and waiting for a perfect moment. We just kept making excuses to confront these obstacles that were in our way. We are starting to sound like Venom. The truth is that there's no such thing as a perfect moment. Okay, well, you can take the credit, I'm just here for the hell of it. There are reasons we face certain problems, but we can only connect the dots looking back. The obstacles in our path give us an opportunity to improve our condition. They're also the main reason why we procrastinate, because it's much easier to hope that problems will solve themselves. Alright, enough about us, what about the book? Well, the book is based on Stoicism, a Roman philosophy that teaches us the development of self-control and fortitude. It's divided into three disciplines, perception, action and will. Perception is how you decide to see your problems. If you see your problems as something bad or unfair, then they somewhat will become that. But if you look at the problem for what it is and as an opportunity to take action, then your approach to that problem will Will be totally different. Action is how you decide to solve your issue. Depending on how you perceive it, you'll not really gain from resolving it. You'll do it with more creativity and ingenuity, using the resources you've got in hand to take the best course of action. One book I'd recommend to any entrepreneur is The Lean Startup by Eric Ries which is all about taking action by testing, adapting and adjusting your ideas. Lastly is will, which is our internal power. It's our inner fortitude and wisdom. In perception and action, we talk about concepts that relate to the external, which we can't fully control. In will, it's what's internal, which we can control. This includes our ability to remain calm and confident, regardless of the situation. One stoic concept I really like is amor fati. Amor fati. That's right, it's to accept and embrace everything that happens to us, good or bad. It just depends how we perceive it. There's a story about Thomas Edison who came home one evening and was told that one of his research labs was burning down. When he found out, he told his son, go get your mother and all her friends, they'll never see a fire like this again. That's 
That's crazy. Well, he was aware that in order to do great things, he needed to be able to endure tragedy and setbacks. We should look at our impediments as fuel for our ambitions and become stronger, more prepared for what's to come. Sometimes we wish we had a helping hand, won the lottery or got promoted, but often this only delays the process of us actually acquiring the skills to get to where we want to. Oh, I know one. A smooth sea never made a skilled sailor. Yeah, that's right. What we want is to nurture our ability to deal with any situation, rather than wish anything was given to us. Because in a chaotic world where resources can be taken away from you just like that, no one can take what you have inside of you. Oh, that reminds me of something else. It's a rhyme from one of my favorite rappers called Guru. It goes something like this. But wait, I've been through a whole lot of other shit before So I oughta be able to withstand some more But I'm sweating though, my eyes are turning red And y'all, I'm ready to lose my mind But instead I use my mind Wow You're rapping on my video I don't deserve this What? Come on, give me a break Obstacles and problems transform us, and those transformations are what we look for. Like the butterfly that needs to struggle out of its cocoon to be able to fly. This was my very personal take on The Obstacle is the Way by Ryan Holiday. He tells stories of great women and men such as Amelia Earhart, Gandhi and Steve Jobs, who overcame their adversities to become the great names they are today. The book is quite compact and less than 200 pages. I always grab it when I need a little a rush of motivation. Come on, yes, yes, I just caught a Caterpie. Man, you're still playing Pokemon, how lame. Wanna battle my Magikarp? Yeah, sure, let's do it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button and let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And subscribe if you haven't done so already. See you later. Yeah, yeah, see ya. Woohoo, I beat you. Oh look. It's evolving into a metapod. <laughs>